Hello YouTube friends, welcome to Maria's Miscellany, where in this video I am sharing with you my napkin collection and I'm also going to put out a little swap if you are interested to swap with me if you like the napkins that I show you that I have. Um, so uh, this is a little overview of all of my napkins that I have available for swapping. I do have a few more than this, but I only have like one of or two of them. So I, I don't want to swap those. Uh, but these that I have here, I have at least five sets that I'm willing to, to swap. I do use my napkins a lot. And since I don't have that many of them, you know, um, I have used up uh, quite a bit of them. But I thought it would be fun to add more variety to my stash uh, without necessarily adding more bulk <laughs> and um, doing a swap with you. The idea came to me uh, during my last haul in which I picked up this beautiful, beautiful napkin from uh, Tuesday morning. They had so many beautiful napkins there. And of course, my dogs are going to bark. I apologize. <laughs> I hope you can hear me. Um, guys, be quiet. It's probably like a lizard or something. Anyway. Okay. Um, really? Okay. <laughs> so anyway, I, I, I picked out this beautiful napkin. Uh, it was only like two thirty for a pack of like 20 or something. So it was very reasonable. Um, and there were a lot of beautiful napkins and I thought, oh, I really can't afford to get them all, you know, even at a reasonable price. So uh, it occurred to me, Ooh, why don't I see if any of my YouTube friends are willing to swap with me? Uh, so an idea started kind of uh, ruminating in my head and I wondered if any if this had been done before so I did a search on YouTube and I did find someone had done something similar a couple of years ago I didn't see anything recent so anyway um, to go on with my rambling I guess um, I went through my stash of napkins and see how many I had uh, you know a lot of and um, like I said I came up with five sets or uh, yes, five sets. Okay, so this is what I have. I had, I actually had 23 napkins that I was willing to swap. So what I decided is I would do this last one that I just got, since I have several of them and it's uh, so pretty. I'm doubling that one up to make it 24 napkins, okay? So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go over the sets of napkins. And so this is what I'm going to do. I have separated them down into two sets. So there's a dozen in each set, okay? I'm gonna go over this first set first. Now, when I um, send the napkins, they I will have already separated the sheets out and that just kind of lessens the, um, the weight because even though it's very light, you know, um, it's it would, you know, make it about a third or a half of the weight that it would have. So I'm gonna do it not now. So this is um, the first set, okay? There's 12, these are 12. So this is one, it's just a square napkin. And full disclosure, most of these were Dollar Tree, that was a Dollar Tree napkin, or thrifted. And I will let you know uh, which it was. So that was a Dollar Tree napkin. It was a, this was a thrifted napkin. So this one, the pattern repeats four times. And this is the pattern, okay? This was also a thrifted napkin. And again, the pattern repeats four times. Cute little hula girls. And that's the pattern. And I will give the details of the swap at the end. I just wanted to go over the napkins first. Because I can't concentrate on <laughs> more than one thing. Okay, so this looks like it's a pattern repeats twice. So we have this pattern here and there. Kind of flip-flopped beautiful beautiful napkin i love that one this one i picked up at target and i think it was only a couple of bucks for i don't know a dozen or 15 or 20, i don't remember but unicorns and it's just unicorns all over the page so they are so so cute and i've already done an envelope with these so and they came out so cute so that's the other one this one I also got a Tuesday morning, and it is, again, the pattern repeats four times. And this is the pattern. Okay, cute little parrot there. Oops, I'm not folding it right. It goes like this. Okay. 
And I love like the little postcards and stamps <laughs> on a map. This is another Dollar Tree napkin. Okay, Trinity. The pattern does repeat four times. And I love the saying, stand tall and stand out. Gotta love flamingos, especially in Florida. Okay. And by the way, have you guys seen those plastic flamingos at the Dollar Tree? I actually went to Dollar Tree. I, I didn't pick one up because I, I wouldn't use it, but they had the plastic flamingos that you can stick in your yard at the Dollar Tree. I mean, they were, you know, small and flimsy, but still, you know, for a buck, I thought they were pretty cool. This is another Dollar Tree napkin, and this one is a little bit different. It has this really dense pattern here, and then a more sparse pattern out in the other three panels. So that's what you get. And again, this one was from the Dollar Tree. I think the rest of these are from the Dollar Tree, yeah. And it is similar to the last one I just showed you. It's got the toucan in one corner. And then this lovely border and leaves and flowers on the other three sides there. That. Okay. And then these I thought were so clever. I couldn't resist. I had to pick them up. You've got uh, water, watermelon. You know, if you, had sli if you slice the watermelon uh, crosswise, I guess it would be. So without, you know, slicing it halfway. I mean... If you were to slice it just round, look at, that's what it would look like. <laughs> Isn't that cool? I love that napkin. So that is the watermelon one. And then there's an orange one. And they actually had a lime or lemon one, but it was really exactly like this one, only yellower. Oops, I'll get you another one. But that's the orange. Okay. So let me grab another one. I have to be more careful and I pull these out. This is my first set right here. Okay. And this one I also thought was really cute. Even though it has a big spot that is blank in the center. Got to be careful when you're opening these up because they do tear. Very fragile. It's a circle. You know, it's almost like a doily, right? And it's got butterflies and flowers. So I thought that was super cute. And that was also from the Dollar Tree. So that's 12 napkins in that one set. One, two... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, so that's one set. So I have five of these. And then the next set, again, it'll include one of these because I didn't have enough to make twelve. Okay. But I'll go ahead and open it up again for you to enjoy it because it is such a beautiful napkin. <laughs> I think so far this is my favorite. Okay, one. This one I thrifted and then it was in a bag of other stuff or it was super cheap because otherwise I don't think I would have picked it up because I don't really make a lot of baby books. But it's really cute. The pattern repeats twice and there they go again. Lane, close the curtain. Maybe that'll help. Maybe if <laughs> they're not looking at uh, sorry about that. So, oh, I just noticed that the pattern for the Humpty Dumpty here has a colored background. And here it's just white. So it is a little bit different on this corner. But then the other nursery rhymes here. I guess that's, hey, the little cat in the fiddle. Okay. So there's that one. That's the second one. And this one is just so cute. Just another, more like baby one. And this one is all four are different. It's got the little butterfly there and that bee sleeping, little snail, and the butterfly sitting on top of the flower. Here she's kind of leaning on her elbows. <laughs> so cute. So that's the third one. These are all from the Dollar Tree, the rest of them. Yeah, I don't think any of them is from anywhere else. So th these have six. The pattern repeat. No, it doesn't repeat six times. It repeats twice, but there are three panels. You know, this is this one, and then it repeats on, on top again. And there you go. So I guess it kind of, they cut it off. It kind of repeats. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, you're looking at it. <laughs> That's this. Uh, see how it went like this. 
Okay, Th that is the next one. And then this one I really love. However, I don't know if, if I threw it in a bag or something. There's a little tear right here. But that's that's how I have, they're, they're all like that. They all tore like in that little end. But again, if you're using it for crafting, that shouldn't be a big deal. But um, I'll be try to be careful to, when I peel off the backing, to not tear anymore. But I love, love, love this. This uh, is probably my second favorite right now with the turtles and the seashells and it's like it's underwater. So love, love this napkin. And yes, it was also from the Dollar Tree. Okay. And just remember that has a little corner tear there. Sip back and relax. This one, the pattern does repeat six times. So it's just the same thing like this. Okay. And it's very, very thin even for a napkin, but Again, for crafting, I really loved it. I made my first iCAD out of this, and then I used it on top of a greeting card. <laughs> okay, then we have the golden finch here, goldfinch, and Carolina Wren on this card featured. Card, I meant napkin. And again, it kind of repeats in a weird way there. Be, but there are six panels. Okay, and they're not all the same. And this one I thought was interesting to me. It's almost Parisian-like feel to it, but uh, it's just floral. And it's really, really cool. I like this one kind of more for a background, but... Um, and then there's this one with, I guess, are these poppies? I'm not sure, but they're nice and bright. And, and there's a rose there. And some stamping. It says Paris over there. Card over here, like, like there was postcard behind there. And some random writing. It's really cool. It's almost like a collaged <laughs> napkin already. Okay, that was also from the Dollar Tree. And this is another one of my favorites from the Dollar Tree. Oh, I really love all my napkins. <laughs> I mean, I'm very picky when I buy them in the first place just because, um, you know, I watch my pennies and my space. <laughs> uh, at least my husband's trying to get me to not accumulate so much. I already have so much. But there we go. But I get such good deals on everything, you know. <laughs> I don't go out and spend uh, like hundreds of dollars at one time, <laughs> collectively, you know, here and there. But um, uh, I use the, the larger chunks for uh, like sub, uh, tools and stuff that I can't find elsewhere. I love this one too. This was one of the first napkins I used for a little notebook that I think was one of the first little uh, journals that I gave away that I made. And uh, if I remember, I'll try to link the video for that journal because I really loved that one. And then, of course, butterflies. You know, I love butterflies. This one. Oh, this one only. This is so weird. This only has that middle panel. Hmm. This only has that middle panel. So since that is the case here, I was thinking about not adding these. But I'm going to add them. So uh, these are all count as one. This one and this one. Because I didn't include it, but I have lots of these. But this one also has one panel, see? And then it does have that edging around. So this one, this one, and this one I have a lot of too, but it, again, it only has the one panel. So I'm only, you know, I, I'm like, this is not worth swapping really. But so these three will count as one napkin because I think that's only fair. Okay, that, that these three will count as one napkin. So that is, the second group, okay? So those are the two groups of napkins. I have five of each, okay? So the first five, well, it could be up to 10, I guess it depends. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm, you're gonna email me, don't don't leave me the comment. Well, you can leave me a comment saying that you like them, you'd like to, uh, you know, swap, but that not, that's not gonna count, okay? The first five to 10 people, depending upon whether the, you know, first five want, both sets are just one. Um, 
will be able to swap with me. And this is what will happen. And this could be anywhere in the world because I think it shouldn't be that expensive to mail, you know, just one uh, ply of these napkins, even internationally. I don't think it could be more than a couple of dollars. I hope anyway. <laughs> so um, I'll double check that. But, you know, we'll communicate. I'm going to leave my email in the description box. Okay. And you're going to let me know if you want to swap the first group or the second group, or both, okay? And I'm limiting it to just one set per person. I mean, one, like the maximum you could get is one of each set, is what I'm saying. I hope I'm not being too confusing, okay? And all you have to do is email me that you're interested in swapping and send me your address so I can start getting it ready, okay? Um, but what I'll do is I'll wait until you send me your napkins or at least send me confirmation that they're on the way and then I'll send you these napkins. Does that sound fair? <laughs> um, and all I ask is that if you, uh, ask for one set of 12, that you send me 12 napkins, nothing more, nothing less. You don't need to add any, anything at all. And I'm not going to add anything to this. Okay. Uh, I might decorate the envelope, but that's about it, okay, because I'm trying to keep my cost down and your cost down, okay? So if you swap one set, then just send me back 12 napkins, totally different from the ones I have. Now, if you don't have 12 napkins to send, let's say you only have 10 kinds of napkins, you can double, you know, duplicate a couple of them to make 12 napkins, but just send me 12 napkins that I don't already have. Okay, don't send me ones that I already have, please. <laughs> I showed you all the ones I have, okay? And if you want to trade, you know, one of each, so if you want to trade 24 napkins with me, just send me 24 napkins, okay? But just make sure that there are ones that I don't have, okay? Now, if you only have 12 types of napkins, but you would like the 24, you can send me two of each of the napkins that you have, but as long as they're not ones that I already have. Does that make sense? at least as part of this swap. Now I do have other napkins that I have not shown you. And if you happen to send me, you know, duplicates of those, that's okay because I don't have enough of those to trade. So I'd be glad to have, you know, extra. Okay. All right. I hope that makes sense. Um, and I hope that doesn't sound too selfish because it really, I'm just trading directly with you out there. I'm not, I'm not, uh, facilitating a swap. I'm actually going to be part of a napkin swap through one of my Facebook groups. So I'm excited about that. But I, I just, like I said, had the idea while I was looking at the beautiful napkins in Tuesday morning, wishing that I could get them all and not able to. And I thought, man, um, maybe I can swap with my YouTube friends out there. So that's what I'm putting this out there. Okay. Um, if you make videos and you think this is a great idea and Hey, go for it, you know? Um, because you might have people that, you know, are not subscribed to me, but are subscribed to you. And maybe you can, you know, swap with them and what have you. But this is how I'm doing mine. <laughs> Email me whether you want to swap 12, which 12. This is the first group. This is the second group. If you want to swap 24 and just include your email, um, your, you know, address, your mailing address so that I can start putting your packet together and calculating, you know, how much it's going to cost me to send it to you and stuff. And it should probably be the same for me to send to you as it does for you to send to me. So it should be pretty much of an even swap. Okay. All right. I've rambled enough because that's what I do. <laughs> uh, but I hope that um, at least, you know, five of you will want to switch all of them or 10 of you will want to switch one of each. And, you know, I hope this works. I'm so excited because um, it'd be an awesome way for me to grow my stash of nap different napkins and for you as well i hope you know <laughs> all right enough uh if you're watching this today have a happy fourth of july and um in any case have a happy summer but most of all have a very blessed day Bye bye <laughs>